Bring me now to thy service, Lord. Yeah. Uh, power of grace divine. Yeah. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope and not my will but thine. Yeah. Give life and meaning to these words that I in some of our Bibles in black and white, and some of our Bibles in red and white. But that they might not become just words, but the way of living. That somebody might be converted. That somebody might be set free. We've hollered, we've shouted, but now it's time for God for change to come. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The Gospel of St. Luke, 23rd chapter. In the 46th verse, I like reading it from the King James Version because I like the way this version sounds. The Bible might read different. That's all. If it does, that's all right. But the message is still the same. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. It's late in the day. Give me a few minutes. We're going to talk about it's in his hands. After hanging on the hill, called Golgotha, the place of the skull for the sins of humanity. Christ was in agony. He was tired. Yeah. He was sore. He was bruised for being beaten for things he did not deserve. And physically, his time had come. He had finished what he was sent to do. Yeah. As the previous words have so eloquently informed us, he had forgiven the people. Yeah. Uh, he had offered salvation to the thief on the cross. He had offered a new relationship to his mother and his favorite uh, disciple. He had gone through the human emotions of abandonment, thirst, and distress. Yeah. Yeah. And finally, his work was over. Yeah. If you look at the Lucan text, it declares that after three hours of silence, yeah, yeah. He finally cries out. Yeah. Jesus in his human condition had been in the hands of those who had beat him. Yeah. Those who had lied on him, those who yeah. spit on him, betrayed him, turned their back on him, washed their hands of the situation because they didn't want their blood on his hands. Yeah. And now he declares, Father, yeah. it's in your hands. Yeah. And so he puts it in the hands of the one who 